going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we have a special video that I bet a lot of you guys weren't expecting, which is a private jet review. So we do have two private jets in front of us that are customized and painted and I wanted to go over them and do an in-depth review of them. This first aircraft we have here is the Global 7000. And the second aircraft is the Falcon 7X. Both of these did come from a website called Shapeways where they make plastic, pretty much anything you want. And some certain designer made these two aircrafts and then I had someone paint them for me. I do think they did turn out really good and I will be using them even though they are plastic. All right, we're going to be starting off with the G7000. This aircraft is all hand painted, which makes it even more impressive. There are zero decals on it, except maybe for the cockpit windows. We'll start off here. We do have the nose cone. Then we do have a few um, dots of black for details, such as like the fuel and etc. Then we do have the cockpit windows. Our first landing gear, which you can see is pretty detailed. You do have the, you can see the rim and the black tire around it, even though it actually is one piece. The wheels don't roll, obviously, because it's plastic, but that doesn't bother me. Then we have the one and only door. There is one on the other side, but the boarding door. Then we have about um, 10 windows or so, maybe 12. Um, it starts off as like this white and you can see a beacon light on top and then it goes to a yellow gold and then all the way into a dark black. Um, you can see the rim of the engine is that nice pearly silver. Uh, we'll focus on the winglets really quick. It's not really anything too special. Um, it's pretty much just all silver but you can see the silver lining on the wing right here and the wings are actually all white um, it's a bit hard to see on camera um, so i'm going to show the top and the other sides as well as the bottom so you can see there is a bit of detail on the top not a ton of detail not a lot of it um, but we do have the horizontal stabilizers right here and once again you can see that silver that i was kind of talking about um, you have your all white wings. You do have a bit of detail on the wings. You can see um, the flaps and the slats. You can see that. Um, but that's about it for the top of the aircraft besides the beacon light, which I did already show you. And here is the opposing side. You can see it's not too different. Um, we'll take a little bit of a look here. We do have your basic windows still on there. Um, basic wing detail and the rims on the engine so it's not too much different from the other side now on the bottom of the aircraft we do have a beacon light right here you can see the front landing gear then we have the back landing gear and you can see the detail of the flaps um, on it but other than that it doesn't have a ton of detail but I still really love this aircraft here is the Falcon 7X aircraft. It is quite a bit smaller than the other aircraft. You can see my finger here. Um, it is pretty small. It's kind of like a CRJ200, but a little bit smaller. It does have a wider wingspan than the CRJ200, actually. Um, but we'll start off here with the nose cone and a little bit of detail right there where you would connect the GPU. Then we have the cockpit windows, the first door. And then this is a decal, the windows right here. You can't really tell, but you can kind of see the reflection. Um, these lines are hand painted, which is pretty impressive. Then we do have the um, rim on the three engines. Um, it's a little hard to see the other one, but there's all three of the engines. And you can see the light on the top. Then of course we have the horizontal stabilizers in the back. Um, not a ton of detail on those, they're pretty much all white. Then on the wing, 
um, and winglet. We do have that gray um, still going across the body of the or the body of the wing, and then on the winglet. These winglets are very small. Here is the opposing side of the aircraft. You can see how pointy the nose is and the landing gear right there. And then a bit of detail towards the back of the aircraft and on the tail. Um, so yeah, overall this is a very good and detailed aircraft for how small it is. Here is a view from the top. Um, there's nothing really to see other than the beacon light right there and the stripes going across the body of the aircraft. And for the bottom of the aircraft, it is a Euro white, um, pretty much bottom except for this silver line going across and a light right there. Here's a better view of the landing gear. There actually is the flaps on it um, that go in once the landing gear go in. So it's very impressive how this is painted. And overall, I would give this aircraft a 10 out of 10. I would rate both of these aircrafts a 10 out of 10. They both have a bunch of detail and um, were for a very good price. I got both of these for $55 with shipping. And I think the amount of detail and time it took to build these is a very reasonable price for both of these. So I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I am so excited to put these private jets into action in some of my airport updates. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.